is going on everyone is back in with another video in today's video i'm going to talk about how you can succeed at hitting in mlb the show 23 and how it works in this game because it's pretty different from the other games so how hitting works in this game is it's pretty interesting i got some gameplay of the custom practice right here just kind of showing some hitting and kind of show you guys how it works i was just showing fastballs down the middle for now but pretty much how this works the number one thing that matters about this hitting engine is the timing so if you have really good timing in this game you're able to hit the ball just like that perfect perfect right there you're able to hit the ball really well and, and able to do some really good damage and then obviously the second thing is your PCI. If you have a really good PCI, then you're yeah, obviously going to be able to, you know, hit the ball really well. And then the third thing is that little bar right there where it says contact, and then it's exit velo, and then the launch angle. So those are the three things that really matter with, you know, the hitting engine and how it all works. They kind of talked about this in those feature premieres. That's pretty much how it works in this game. So if you have really good, you know, obviously how to get a perfect perfect in this game is if you have perfect timing, you know, good, whatever. And then if as long as the ball is in between that middle circle, it could be a little bit up, a little bit down. They usually said as long as it's, you know, as middle as possible with the good timing that you can get it perfect perfect and i'm gonna be honest all the perfect perfects i've hit in this game have all been hits so i know a lot of people were getting really mad last year about getting perfect perfects i was too you know and they weren't like hits ever all the ones i've hit in this game so far seem like hits so that's a very good sign and yeah i think the hitting this year is very smooth like i don't know the ball seems a little bit bigger to me i'm using the strike zone hitting view for anyone asking yeah, if you get some good timing and you hit the ball right in that PCI, it's, you know, you're going to get a hit in my opinion. So that's what it's looking like this year. Perfect, perfect. OB seem like hits and I don't know, the, the ball just seems bigger on the strike zone hitting dude that I'm currently using. So it just seems like really easy to hit. I know they just said they're trying to cut down the foul ball rate, but it seems like you can put the ball in play pretty much um, every time. So you just got to time up the curveballs and the sliders and all that stuff. Because I have got folded a couple of times on a couple really good sliders and stuff. Because you can dot really well in this game. If you're pitching, if you get that perfect, perfect pitching, you can dot really where you put it. So it's going to be a little bit harder, you know, in these situations, obviously. I was just messing around with some team practice, a couple of different things here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty easy, you know, to just, you know, go into custom practice. And you can, you know, practice against different pitchers and all that good stuff. So if you're really struggling on certain pitches, there's a couple pitchers that throw it really well. Obviously, we you know Jacob's a ground fastball. If you're really struggling hitting that fastball, go into custom practice, put the Mets on, and you know, try to hit Jacob DeGrom's fastball. I mean, or, or the Rangers. Wow, that's going to take some getting used to. Throw on the Rangers and put on Jacob DeGrom's fastball, who's like at 100 miles an hour, 99 miles an hour. So you can learn how to hit it, and you can learn how to be really well against it. You know, if you're struggling on a slider, put someone who's got the slider on, the splitter, for example, all that good stuff. Um, the only thing that sucks about this custom practice, which I've said multiple times, is you can't use the exact Diamond Dynasty cards. So if you're really struggling against one pitcher, you really can't practice with him. It's only the live series guys. So it kind of is what it is right now. But, you know, if you're struggling on certain pitches, you can definitely go in here and, you know, load up and practice those pitches. I was definitely doing that um, a little later today after I got off stream. I was, you know, tr trying to see which pitches I was really good at, which pitches I was really struggling at. Um, so the custom practice is really good this year. I'm really liking it. You can also do, like, different situations. For, you know hitting pitching feeling anything so if you're really struggling in any part of the game i really suggest you go into the custom practice instead of going into an actual game just because you can interact with that situation more often especially for the new feeling in this game too i mean the custom practice is really good for that as well yeah so overall for this hitting i think you just gotta be on time that's like the biggest thing right now i feel like i'm dotting the balls pretty good but i just can't get on time so that's like my biggest struggle right now in the hitting if i can get on time i feel like i'm gonna hit really well and i've hit really well when i played online and other people like i don't know i feel like the hitting you can just kind of locate the ball at least for me i was getting a really good pci placement today it was just my timing so if i can get that timing well then i can probably hit a decent amount of balls and the only time i've got both like really good it was that last bar i talked about the contact the exit velo i don't really have that great of exit velo in some of these you know ones i got outs on or the launch angle was really bad so that, that's that's another factor in there um, it's not a major factor but it is still a factor they were talking about um so that's another thing as well but hope this guy i hope this guy helps you guys just try to get on time as best you can go in the custom practice if you're struggling against certain pitches right here um and you know try your best you can put it anywhere in the zone you can put it you know down the middle which i was doing here to, just to show you guys and then you can put it you know if upright you can put it anywhere in the zone you want it, even outside the zone if you have to um to try to you know get that but you know i really suggest you guys go in this custom practice practice your hitting and i think you guys will succeed get on time locate on, on the different pitches and all that good stuff and you'll be on time so if anyone is struggling to you know be able to dot up the ball they actually have a new pci this year which actually shows you the bat on on the actual pci which is really cool uh this is a, one of the new pci features this year so if you're really struggling locating the ball i suggest using this one just because it is you can see where the bat path is going and you can time it up really well um i was actually struggling a little bit with it because i'm not used to it yet 
Um, but I, I do think it's a good way for like really beginners to try to practice as much, especially you know if you're on the Switch or on the Xbox that you know hasn't had to play you know the games for the last you know years and everything like us on PlayStation had. Um, so you know what I'm saying because I've been playing I've been playing the shows since what 15, 16. So you know I've practiced using the PCI for many years. So but if you're in a little bit inexperienced, you're a little bit of beginner, I definitely suggest using this one um, just because you can see where the bath path goes. You can kind of see where your PCI is and how to adjust. And then you can go back to the normal one if you want, or you can keep it. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I'm glad they added this one. I think it can really help a lot of people out. So, the only thing you got to do is just predict it, get on time, and then locate with this PCI. And I think everyone will do fantastic in their hitting. But if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you just like, comment, subscribe. I've really been enjoying this technical test. And, yeah, we're going to be streaming all week. So, if you guys want to go check out a stream, go to my channel. I'll probably be alive around 6 this whole technical test. And I'll hope to see you there. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this helps, this little guide. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.